Hey, what is going on YouTube? My name is Hattie, also known as Dream Skins, and day, day, today, we are on a brand new series here on FM20. Uh, very quickly, you already know by the title and the thumbnail, we're being West Ham. I'm going to explain why I picked them in a second. If you haven't already, I'm going to leave a little card in the top right corner, if I remember, um, of our Journeyman series. If you haven't started or, or seen any of our Journeyman series, I hugely, hugely recommend it. We're on episode 10 right now, as of recording this at least. Um, we just finished our second season. Uh, I won't spoil anything, but it's a fantastic save where we started in, where we started unemployed and we just have to find a club. We have half a star reputation and the whole point of the series is to get a five star manager reputation and we can bounce around different teams, go to different leagues, different countries, stuff like that. Um, yeah, I hugely recommend it. Go watch it. The reason I want to do another save on FM is because I was looking at our Napoli beta save that we used to do. And I really, I had so much fun being Napoli, I really did. And I was going to continue it, and then I realised I deleted all the footage that I recorded for it, because I didn't think I was going to be recording anymore. So, the last episode was in January, and now we're in March, and I don't have any of the recordings, so I thought, let's just scrap it. And I thought, you know what, let me start a new one. I want to start in the Premier League, but I don't want to be a team like Arsenal, or, or Man City, or Man U, like a big team, that would just be like, oh, buy all these players and win everything. I want it to be a team that we can build, because Journeyman is like... We are building our manager, you know, it's all about building the manager, building the manager's reputation. This save is going to be all about building West Ham and, and hopefully, if we don't get sacked, staying with West Ham for as long as possible and trying to make them the best team, you know, in football, pretty much. Trying to take West Ham's reputation up to five stars and make them the best. So it's opposite of Journeyman. We're trying to take a decent team, you know, mid, you know the predicted finish is 10th, mid-table in Prem. We're trying to take them and make them the best team in the Premier League. So I thought it might be a nice contrast of playing with random players that we have no idea who they are and trying to get a manager reputation up and in this save we know all these players we know the league well we know the system we know all the cup competitions and stuff like that trying to get into europe is a big uh thing that's you know a, a big thing that i'm pushing for early on try to get a europa league spot try to challenge for the premier league in a couple seasons and just try to build a nice team in the premier league so uh the reason i picked west ham i, I like west ham they're a team i really like uh another reason i picked there's three reasons one i just like west ham two um, they're a mid-table team. I didn't want to be like Sheffield United or something like that would be really hard I wanted to be like a mid-table team that has some good players, but they need that extra push to make them a top team um, Another reason is I searched on YouTube and no one's really doing an, uh, a West Ham save uh, as far as I could see You know, no huge YouTubers at least so I thought it would be nice uh, to you know get it out there um, And also on FM what was it, FM 16, I think it was, um, or FM 17. It was offline, it wasn't on YouTube or anything, but I'd done a West Ham save, and I, it, was, it was the longest, to this day, the longest ever save I've done. I went to like 20, 30 something, and I loved it. Um, so as you can see down here, the club culture, play attack in football, that's a check for me. Do not sign players over the age of 30. I mean, I don't, mm, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm a manager that, I, I like to focus on the youth and bring up youth players and, and buy youth players, so, that's fine. I, you know, I, I sign the occasional older veteran, but that's fine. That's fine. Develop players using the club's youth system. Like I said, I'm happy with that. Sign players under the age of 22 for the future. Again, they want to build for the future. I'm fine with that. And sign high reputation players. Uh, of course, their history been a bit shaky. Um, last season finished 10th, uh, 13th, 7th, 11th. See, just been mid-table. Mid-table. They need that extra push to push them up. Um... Great training facilities, average data analyst, great youth facilities. Um, and looking at the team, Winston Reid is injured for three to four months. Mark Noble's out for about six weeks. That's fine. Uh, but looking at the team, they have some players that I'm really, really interested in. This 22-year-old that they've just signed from uh, for eight months from Basel um, looks to be fairly decent. Of course, they have the former Arsenal man. Where is he? Jackie Boy Wilshire in the middle. That's going to be exciting. Um, Sebastian Haller, six foot three. Uh, very decent in the air, very good physically. I'm excited to be using him. A very, very nice team. Uh, we are going to go with West Ham. We're going to just tick both of them so they pick whatever. And here we go then. West Ham United hire Tuvi. The Hammers have hired us. West Ham have today confirmed the appointment of Harry Tuvi. Our brothers have been raised in the world of football. At the appointment of the 20... We're only 20 years old. God damn. Who has recently spent away uh, time away from football. 22 years old. He replaced his previous manager... Manuel Pellegrini. As you can see, the reputation, three and a half stars, impressive. We want to make that a five-star reputation by the end of this series. Hopefully, we don't get fired and we actually get the chance to do it. Um, they've also never won a Premier League title. So, that's something we can look to win. 
Uh, they've won the Emirates Cup a few times, not any time recently. I mean, they've not won any trophy recently. The last win was, what, 1981? 1981, which is, I mean, a long time ago. Fierce Rivals with Tottenham, Millwall, and Chelsea. I don't like them teams either, so that'll be all right. I can uh, help you. Great training, great youth, and good youth recruitment. Our system manager is Ruben Kusilas, our director of football, Mario. Your coaching staff have compiled a brief overview of the current West Ham squad. I love starting a new save. They will provide you with more comprehensive report in the coming days. Sebastian Haller up top, Felipe Anderson, Yarmolenko, Pablo Fornals, Declan Rice, Creswell, Reed Diop. We have a nice team, Fabianski. We have a very, very nice team. Like I said, we just need that extra push. Uh, hot prospect is uh, Gardot, so I'll take a look at him when we start. Play attacking football is preferred. Do the sign of it. Yeah, we know all these. The club vision. Uh, the five year plan then. Uh, maintain self sustainability. So the board will continue to make the club self sustainable uh, in terms of money and also work within wage budget, which is very required. They, they really want us to work within the wage budget. Make sure the budget remains under control. I'll, I'll, I'll be all right with that. Uh, end of current season. They're looking at mid table finish. Like I said at the beginning, I'm with our team. I think we can push for potentially Europa League. Uh, let me know what you think. I don't know. I think maybe we can push for potentially pro, um, Europa League. FA Cup, I'm, I'm going to make uh, look to make a run in the FA Cup as well, I think. Uh, they only say fifth round and fourth round in the Carabao Cup. I, I kind of want to make a push in the Cups early on and see how we do. That's for this season. End of the next season, uh, they want to finish in the top half, guaranteed. And then our contract expires. But end of 2021-22, become recognized as the best of the rest. Make sure the team becomes recognized as the best of the rest outside the Premier League top six within the stated time frame. Oh, so best of the rest. So out of the top six, make sure we're the best, basically, other than the top six. Okay. I thought that meant, like, be the best team in the league. <laughs> that all sounds decent to me. Uh, we'll do a press conference. Why not? I'm excited. I'm really excited. I like our team. I like the fact that we're a mid-table team, you know, it, it, Hopefully, we don't struggle too much. Hopefully, we have a nice uh, philosophy in place. And um, we can get on a nice run of games. Tactics introduction. We'll go through that after. Uh, so, yeah. Play attack. So, are we happy with all of this? Mid-table friend. I think I am. I don't think we need to really negotiate. I'm just going to accept it. I think I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, selection rules we know. Of course, the transfers that have happened. Who did West Ham sign this season? Uh, the striker, of course, Sebastian Haller. So, in this game, he hasn't played for it. No, he's brand new. And our Cardozo. This is the youngster we signed. 18-year-old centre-back. Good potential. Uh, he came from a Portuguese team. And he looks fairly decent, actually. We've also got Pablo Fornals, the centre-mid or attacking mid. Another really, really good signing for us. Um, we quickly, I just want to look at the schedule. Who are we playing first? Man City away. Go to Leicester and Sheffield United at home. Carabao Cup. Wolves away. Everton. We have Arsenal in October. In November, we have Newcastle home, Tottenham away, Ch Liverpool and Chelsea. Who made these fixtures? We're playing Watford twice on the same day, apparently. Having a real mare. T Liverpool, Tottenham, Chelsea. All next to each other. What is that about? Russell, tactic wise, there's a little tick next to Gagan Press, Tiki Taka, and Direct Counter. I don't, like, listen, I'm going to load in a couple of tactics, right? A five at the back that I've been using. With other teams, I'm really a fan of. I'm going to load in a cheeky... We'll get a Tiki Taka. If they want to have a Tiki Taka, we'll get one. And then we'll get our direct counter-attack. Um, three tactics loaded in. We'll see how we work with them. Let's start training them. Um, looking at it, our squad depth. We may need another striker. We have Hala and Ajeti, I think is how you say it. Other than those two... We don't really have anyone. This guy is out on loan, so we can send him to our under-23. Uh, and then we just have wingers that can kind of play up top. Although, with this 5 the back formation, Yarmolenko and Felipe Anderson are getting wasted. What I might do is switch it to this. Have 5 at the back with 2 in the midfield, and then 2 wingers with a striker. That's what I'm going to switch it to. So, at least we're not using both strikers. Then we can use our wingers. We have 2 in midfield. We have plenty of centre mid. Midfield, centre mid, we're fine. Left back with Masuaku and Kru Is Cresswell's crossing still really good? 15, not too bad. What's Masuaku saying? 13, that's okay. Zabala, of course, getting on now. Um, we do have a 26-year-old Englishman, Ryan F uh, Fredericks. Very good crossing, very good pace too. I think I might be starting him. Centre-back, we look uh, fairly decent too, to be fair. I think a backup striker. I mean, not much else, really. Do we have anyone in the under-23s of note? This kid that we signed, I'm actually going to call him up. Um, he really, really does intrigue me. Uh, Cardoso. I know, I know he's only 18, but I'm going to 
take him off the loan list. Anyone else? We have Zandi. Is that a left winger? Right winger, left winger. Very pacey. I don't think he's quietly, uh, quite first team football. Just yet. Yeah, yeah, no one else really of note. We'll keep an eye on some of these. Ooh, I'm going to do Diallo though. Not now, obviously, but in the future. Could potentially be up there. So this is what we have so far. Right, before we look at anything else, let's advance a couple days and just around the league. Uh, social feed has been updated. Do we try to sell anyone is a question. Try to bring in some money. Is there anyone that I don't think should be here anymore? I'm happy with Fabianski. I like our defenders. Um, Declan Rice, Carlos Sanchez. I think for the most part, I think they're all right, to be honest. Yeah, I think we'll keep it for now. Um, see how they do in preseason. For the uh, we have three preseason games remaining. They want Ben Johnson on loan. They can have him. Match preparation. We need to start training all of our tactics, don't we? See, they're saying Cardoso in the under twenty threes. I want to give them the chance in the first team. Key player could become better than Isad. Right, I want to give him that chance. You know, squad dynamics. Right now, here is the interest. But I'm going to say welcome. I'm going to say mid-table, because I think that's what they will resonate with. They are, they seem to be a bit more ambitious. I could say top half, but that might upset all of these. I'll say top half. I can't think... Okay. I'm. Okay. Top half it is. Great response. Thank you very much, boys. Team leaders, uh, Mark, Noble, and Zabaleta. Highly influential. We have a few. So they seem to think we could get top half, which, to be fair, I'm, I'm, I want as well. Uh... We'll, we'll attend the press conference. I'm not going to do too many, but we'll uh, attend this one since it's the first one. Hi, Harry. What are your initial thoughts on taking the West Ham job? I'm very excited. It's a great club. I can't wait to get stuck in. What, uh, what attracted you to West Ham? I think there's tremendous potential in this club, and I'm excited to have the chance to help everyone realize that. Did you have any reservations about taking the top uh, job? Um, taking a step into football managers. Be I can't believe we're 20 years of age, to be honest. Right. Nice uh, presser. Let's move on, please. So, yeah, I think a backup striker, just another option up top. Um, maybe the way to go. 1-0 win, uh, Robert Snodgrass getting the goal. We did play with our five-of-the-back formation. 5-2-3, five, I guess we could call it. It looks quite nice on paper. I, li I like it. I think that's what we're going to go with. So, looking at the team, of course, Sebastian Haller and Ajeti. And then, other than that, literally, we have no options whatsoever. So, they're both a pressing forward, too, which I like. Uh, I'm going to go in and clear all of that. But yeah, we, we just we don't have another option. So our, our striker is definitely up there. What kind of striker is 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 the the question? Oh boys, do we uh, do we? <laughs> is this something? Important player looks to strengthen the defenders. Will be appointed vice captain. Okay, I don't know about that. Well, do we get? I, um, I mean, our first thing the board wanted us to do is, um, I mean, the first thing our board wanted us to do is not sign players over the age of 30 and sign players of the age of 22 or younger. So, uh, <laughs> I don't know how they feel about that. <laughs> Listen, it doesn't mean it's done. It just means we're looking into it. Okay. It doesn't mean it's done. What's uh, the DOF going to say? If we say um, a striker, who are they going to bring to us? Oh, this guy, Edward, would be amazing. Uh, Joseph Miners. I was playing with him on our play career, actually. He just left us. I don't know about that, Ebra. Just because I've done it doesn't mean it's going to happen. It's just it's just there for now, you know? Joe Powell, a cam. Uh, I will happily let him go on loan. Training camp, you can pick. I'm really excited for the save. I really am. I must admit, I I, I love starting a new save. Especially, like, with the, the fact that it's like a mid-table Prem team. And, like, we have the chance to, like, just improve them, you know? Okay, what are they saying? I'm not going to say, Hudson Edouard would be amazing. And he fulfills what the board want. He's under 22 for the future. He would be an amazing pickup. Financially, it's going to be interesting. I'm going to suggest 10 mil, see what they say. Oh! Well, I was thinking we're going to have to do future... We might not even have to do future fees here. For Hudson Edward, Really? Squad player. Uh, then he wants to be a regular. He wants to be an important by 2022. That's fine with me. Right. Signing on fee. Tried to bring under one mil. Um, wage budget. If we can get this kid... That would be quite the signing. 
He's currently operating at Premier League level already. I inquired for Haaland, but I mean, it's it's quite unoriginal now, isn't it? Everyone gets Haaland. Um, if we can get Hudson Edouard, I don't know if I'm saying his name right. Let me know if you're a, a Celtic fan or a, a French. He's, he's French, right? A French fan. Uh, or France, I guess. We have Man City away first game. That is so annoying. But that would be quite the signing, I think. Oh, really? Don't. He's not up for the City game, though, is he? No. They have no... Well, Jesus is unready. They'll probably register him. No Laporte, no Sane, and no Mendy. Well, at least they're missing some players. Although we're missing some of ours too, but... Right, our new uh, staff has come in. We're a new manager. We need, you know, we need our own staff with us. Guys that we can trust, you know? 18-0! I mean, I know they're a team I don't know, but... That means we're beating City, right? <laughs> he scored six goals! Yarmolenko and Felipe Anna. I'm really excited about those two, actually. I didn't even think about them. Uh, Andy Carroll, they're asking for 30... Mate, he went on a free... I, oh. I was thinking to bring back Big Andy, but for 30 mil, they're taking the mick a bit, aren't they? Loan offer for that Zandy winger. That's okay. Uh, they're going for Ibra. I'm not going to go for Ibra. I'm, I'm going to withdraw. Um, our board won't like us. Whereas this guy, we are going to sign. We've made a signing in episode number one. Hudson Edouard. Again, hopefully I'm saying his name right. A, a minus fan reaction. They're very pleased with the caliber and importance. Could turn out to be a potential bargain. Definitely. At 21 years of age... For 12 million pounds, he is going to be absolutely phenomenal. He's only earning 52,000 pounds a week. Uh, who's our highest earner, actually? 100. He's, he's down. He's in the middle. He's, he's nowhere near the top. Very good physical. He's just good, at, you know, overall. I'm very, very excited about that. I'm not going to lie. Made a signing in episode number one, which is lovely. I don't think we're going to play a game in this episode. Uh, it's like the introduction episode, but... I'm, I'm going to be recording this straight away after after we stop recording episode 1. I'm going to be recording episode 2. Uh, so I'll get that out as soon as possible if you guys like it. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button to let me know. But um, yeah, to have this side by side with our Journeyman series. Mate, I'm excited. Spalletti goes to Everton. Oh, whoops. Clicked on the wrong one. Um, is Arsenal... Is he, is, did they still have Emery on this game or no? No, Mikel Arteta. Is okay, so I I, I did um, oh they're playing a three one two three five two oh wow I got a um a new like transfer update just because I started a new save I wanted to get like new updates so Mikel Arteta is there um which is uh pretty cool I guess Arteta went with Spalletti instead of one more friendly ah oh, and then we're there um yeah we don't care about Ibra anymore All right Zabaleta learn to play complete wing back. Get your crossing up. He has good stamina for an oldie, to be fair. can't believe we got Edouard for so cheap. I'm really, really excited. With that signing, I must admit, I'm really excited. The thing is, we have Man City away first, right? So, it's going to be a tough start, obviously. I'm, you know, even if we lose, I'm not going to let the... Let the loss get to me. Um, Right, nothing else is going to happen up until now to the City game. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to end the episode here, end episode one here, and we will reconvene on episode number two at the first game of the season. Mate, for episode number one, please do smash, smash the thumbs up button. Please let me know that you want to see more of this series. I'm excited for it. I hope you guys are. And, um, yeah, just absolutely kill that uh, like button. If you guys are excited for this series as I am, I, I honestly, I just can't wait to properly get into this and uh, just have another series alongside the Journeyman. Um, with a different aim, you know, like I said at the beginning, Journeyman, we're focused on getting our manager to five-star this, we're focused on getting West Ham to five-star. So yeah, leave a like on the video. Uh, I hope you guys are really enjoying the double uploads that we've been doing up until 2020. Um, I thought, you know, for Christmas, might as well, two videos every single day. And that means that this series gets to get a quick start and we get to get more videos out quicker. So that's also a good thing for this series. But yeah, leave a comment down below of uh, where you think we're going to finish, signings, everything like that to help me out. Uh, different tactics if you think we should use something else. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Um, yeah, we have a bunch of links down in the description also. Before I forget, go follow me on different stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Um, and I've been Howard TV. This was the worst outro I've ever done in my life. I've been Howard TV, Austin and Dreamskid. And I'm sending out much love as always. And peace.